Frustrating day today. Yeah, yeah, it was um, disappointing. Right across the board, I think we're honest enough as staff and, and honest. I've got honest players, and sometimes you've got to hold your hands up. We we were second best. They they deserved everything they got and probably more. Um, frustrating because we've not been good today and we still scored two goals. So it was definitely a winnable game, but unfortunately we weren't weren't at the races today and got exactly what we deserved, which was nothing. Was it a case of one of those games where the players were still hung over, well, in a sense, after last week and looking forward too far to Burton? I don't know, I think we mentioned that to them. Obviously, I've seen it a lot in, in the past where you're playing big games and there is a knock-on effect next game. So that was one reason why I made a couple of changes um, to try and freshen up and stop that happening, but it still did. So, yeah, I think so. I, I think... We've been good all season. We've set standards and and levels, and unfortunately we've dropped below that today. So um, we got what we deserved, but it's about how we bounce back. So we've got another tough game at Nuneaton on Tuesday, um, and hopefully we'll be better than we were today. In the defensive sense, it was a destructive performance, but we still had passages where we looked promising. Yeah, but they just weren't often enough. I think from the minute go, they they run off us. We we struggled to deal with. The diamond formation, which I don't know why, because we played against it a number of times. We got caught in between, didn't win first or second balls, and they run off us and, and cause us problems. Um, but I'm, I'm not going to be too harsh on the lads. Like I said, in all my interviews, they're a great bunch to work with, they're honest. Um, so we just hold our hands up and just say we weren't at the races and weren't good enough today, and um, Stratford deserved everything they got. In some sense, they were quite clinical. First half, they scored two goals in quick succession. They scored straight after us. Is that how you see it? Yeah, they could have maybe had more. I know we could have had more as well, but the goals are terrible from our point of view. Um, and it's unlike us. We've not conceded that many goals this season. Um, and we've conceded four today, so that weren't great. But that said and done, the one that kills us is, is the one where they scored straight after when we scored. I thought we, we would be back in the game and we can see straight away, which then puts the game to bed more or less. So, um, disappointing. Long trip home, but we'll we'll look back and analyse it um, as individuals and as a team, and then hopefully come Tuesday we'll be a lot better. We've only had four away games so far this season. Do you think that could be part of it? No, not really. Pitch is the same size. The ball's the same size. The goal's the same size. We're used to travelling now. It's not great, is it? Travelling three, three and a bit hours to a game, but we do it all the time, so we can't sit here and make excuses for that. We, we, we were just poor today. We weren't our normal self. Um, and when, when you drop below the levels you set, there's a risk of you losing games of football and coming away with nothing, which has happened today. Now we've got to pick ourselves up and improve for Tuesday. We've got another long trip to Nuneaton. Yeah, we did, we did well there last year, so um, it's been a good place for us. But... It's a tough one. They're flying, flying in the league, second in the league. Um, they've, got to be in some, they've got a tough job now of, of picking a starting eleven because because um, I don't think anyone's secured their place for Tuesday. But we'll, we'll look, we'll put a team out and hopefully we'll perform a lot, a lot better. The lads are disappointed in there. Um, the fans that travelled will be disappointed and rightly so um, because they, they've been used to seeing um, better than that and expect better than that, which we all do. Um, but we're honest, we didn't deserve nothing, got nothing, but hopefully we're going uneaten and get something now. One plus is, from the looks of it, we've come away with no new injuries. No, I think everyone's OK. Um, so that's a good, good, good point. Hopefully, Kieran won't be a million miles away soon. Pat's maybe a little bit longer, but um, no new injuries today. So there is one positive out of today. Cheers, Kev. Cheers, mate.